something really excited for you in this video. Um, this video, what it's going to be, is, of course, it's going to be about the car. Doo -doo. Um, what, what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to install a vacuum pump. It's an electric vacuum pump. And a lot of bracket racers around here in Tulsa have been using this. Pretty good results. And uh, they kept asking me and asking me, hey, are you going to use it? Do you want to try it? And I've been reluctant. But uh, this weekend at Test and Tune, I talked to someone that installed this system on the other car. Uh, not only their car picked up a little bit, I think it was almost five numbers it picked up. Uh, it also became very consistent. And plus another good benefit by using this uh, pump is uh, I run methanol, which it means it brings a lot of moisture in the motor. By running an electric motor, we'll be able to draw the moisture all out of the motor. So we won't let a lot of oil or a lot of water mix with the oil. So the uh, not as many frequent uh, oil changes on these. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to get this installed and see how it goes. But I'm going to do a step-by-step -step process as well. Okay, this is the electric pump that we're going to be using. Uh, as you can tell, it's got two inlets. You got a, uh, a big one and a small one. This big one is where the uh, air is being pulled in. The small one where the air is being pushed out. Uh, two wires, wired up to a relay and a switch, flip it on and uh, that's all really there is to it. This uh, pump is this part number right here. Okay. And uh, I think it's about $150. They asked for a core. There's a core chain, $25. I don't have a core. But anyway, uh, now I do. I guess anything happens to this, I can always turn it in and get it replaced. It is a warranty on it. I think it's a year warranty, but uh, other than that, I don't think we're going to have any issues with it. How we currently have it set up right now is this is a catch can. It's not that big. It does the job. Uh, it has two hoses. One hose is actually tied right in into the valley, as you can see right here. Okay. The other hose that you see right here goes underneath the intake and gets tied in, in the uh, back of the port of the intake. And that's actually drawing vacuum through that. So what happens is vacuum is being drawn through this canister, which in turn sucks any type of oil and stuff, uh, the, the pressure off the crank in the, in the crankcase, sucks it in through here, the canister. So it's actually bringing the uh, air that's kind of mixed with the water and oil and stuff, gets in here, goes through this, it's a little separator, separates all that, then in turn it, it, uh, pulls, it pulls the rest of the air on out, pushes it back in the motor. End of the night racing, we typically will drain this, and there's quite a bit of oil and contaminants in here. So we, I know it's doing a good job because it does have stuff in here. So at least I know that part is working. So that's how it's currently set up on this motor. Okay, next is location. Uh, we have to mount this fairly close to where our, uh, our uh, oil separator is going to be located at in pretty close proximity of where the uh, hose is or the hose will come out of the center of the valley cover. Remember, we got this hose coming out here. Uh, so anyway, we decided to go ahead and mount it at this location. We're actually gonna put in here an angle bracket, gonna actually weld it to it so it's good and solid. Then in turn, we actually went out, or not went out, we actually created a new bracket for where this electric pump is gonna bolt to. This will actually bolt to the, uh, the angle bracket we're gonna weld in place here then uh, the electric pump here is going to bolt to this piece so when we get done i'll show you how all that's going to look like and all that good stuff okay this is how it's all mounted uh to the car uh seems pretty solid wiggles a little bit but that's that's no biggie it'll it'll hold uh but uh but yeah it's uh making some progress just had to get some wiring done and uh, start connecting hoses to it and stuff so it's gonna be our next task. This is the uh, oil accumulator that we uh, designed and created ourselves. It's actually made out of uh, PVC, PVC pipe. Uh, get this at your local hardware store, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you want to go to. Uh, but basically it consists of a PVC pipe. I think that's three inch diameter. That's stuff we had laying around here in the shop. Uh, we had to go out and buy the cap for it, the cap for the bottom, some fittings and all that good stuff. And uh, I really do not have any videos of how we put this together, but I do have a lot of steel pictures. 
and I'll put post that in this video as we're, I'm talking through how this thing's built. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is basically a PVC pipe. You can probably see it here in the video, post it here. Um, consists of uh, two ends. I have a cap here, and a cap at the bottom. Um, have a couple fittings, you know, one's an input, one's an output. The bottom hose, bottom hose here is the uh, input to the uh, accumulator, and this is the output. Um, and what happens is uh, uh, gas that contains, you know, water, vapors, water, that stuff will come in the oil accumulator. It was, it's forced to go down. There's actually a tube here forces it to go down. Then what we do is at the very bottom, there's some of this wire mesh. You see that here in this video as well. It hits that, then it turns around, and as it's sucking back out, it's, it comes up and out through here and down to the pump. The exhaust actually exit out to the bottom. Uh, there's absolutely no oil that gets out of here. None whatsoever. I have yet to see anything drip out of this whatsoever. But down here we have a a, a, uh, a port, uh, a drainage port that we do periodically do clean out, and it does contain uh, you know the oil, the water, and all that stuff as we're we're sucking out of here. So it does really work very well. Uh, we pull the vacuum out of the valley on the Alice motor. Um, the reason why we do that is simplicity. It's right here, it's an open, uh, it's easy to do. I didn't want to put it on the valve covers. These are stock valve covers. I have to get fittings for those, any of that stuff, and maybe even have to get a different valve cover. I'm cheap. Anyway, uh, we pull from the vacuum, or from the valley. Now we just don't stick it in here and just pull it. There's actually a, a unique <clears throat> baffle system that we have at the bottom of this. I do have pictures of that or videos of that how we made that valley baffle system and stuff and this thing works very very well. So it does hardly when the vacuum pump is running it's pulling a, a good pressure on it two or three pounds out of it. Uh, the advantage of that is we get to pull all the moisture out of this motor which is great. I run on methanol moisture uh, really contaminates oil, but running in this vacuum pump, it pulls a lot of that uh, water out of the oil or out of the motor. It does not contaminate my oil near as much what it used to. So that's a good positive for me on running this style vacuum pump system that we have on here. So uh, more of that to come. This is a custom made oil baffle. Right now we're just doing a test fit to make sure it fits in the valley. Um, we're gonna actually put some baffles in here. Uh, they're gonna be alternating up and down, up and down, up and down. You'll see a hole in the other end. And that's where the exhaust or the, the vacuum is gonna be pulled through. Um, but uh, that's what it looks like in the valley of this motor. So uh, more to come. Okay, we have the baffles inside of it now. I don't know if you can tell, but they're staggered. You have uh, this one going down, this one's up, this one's down. And at the bottom, uh, most of them have a little opening at the very bottom. The middle one, of course, is a little bit wider at the bottom. See that or not? Have a good shot of it. Okay. So that you can see visually how they're staggered up and down, up and down. drain holes at the bottom. The oil as it accumulates it drops down through here. Hopefully it won't suck anything up through that, but we we don't think so. But uh, air actually enters in here and it's gonna go up, down, up, down hopefully. So as air runs in each to it, the oil will hit in the air and, and drop. And this is the out. So this basic oil set. Then to attach it, drilled some holes, a quarter inch. Then the other side, we went ahead and countersunk the holes. We'll attach that. I got a different fitting here. This is just for testing. Got a little bit nicer fitting. It's going to go here. But uh, next step is get this thing attached and. Hopefully get it installed in the car. A 
Okay. We put a, I'm calling it a diffuser. Um, what this is supposedly supposed to help us out with is oil control. Here in the front, notice it's wide open. Okay. Oil coming off the cam will actually sling up underneath here pretty violently. So to control this in the back, we put actually a kind of diffuser back there. So as oil slings off the cam, uh, it's going to hit that little piece of plate, kind of diffuse the oil. Take a good look. That's going to go in there next. It's crazy looking. Will it work? Sure hope so. It's a lot of work getting that created and fit in there. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. Okay, it's all installed. It's just one big hole coming out of there. <laughs> okay, finished product. Pump, separator. Works connected in the valley. Drain. Vent. 